Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we will learn chapter 3, Momentum and Impulse. So we will go to review first what we have learned during the lecture. Okay, so momentum is, uh, we can call it as the product of the mass and its velocity. So the equation is P equals to NV. It is a vector quantities and the unit is kg meter per second. So since vector is a, sorry, since momentum is a vector quantity, it has a direction and it can be resolved into x and also y component. Meaning that if let's say the equations give you the magnitude, you can resolve it into px and also you can resolve it into py. So this is momentum. Okay, how about impulse? Okay, impulse is defined as the product of the average force and the time interval. So the equation is J for impulse equals to F dt, change of the time. Impulse also is a vector quantity and the unit is Newton second, meaning force times the time, or you can write it as kg meter per second. So when two object is collision, the impulsive force against the time, so this is the force versus time okay so meaning that from the graph above force acting on a particle or an object may vary with the time so the impulse is actually impact to the particle by the force is the aerial undergraph force versus t graph okay so meaning the area undergraph here is our impulse okay similar for this one area undergraph is your impulse Okay, next, impulse momentum theory. When a net average force acts on an object during an interval, T, the impulse of this force, is equal to the change in the momentum. So we can write it as impulse equals to change of momentum, or we can write impulse equals to NV minus MU. Okay, so as a conclusion, our impulse, we can write it as J equals to F delta T or we can write it as change of momentum where change of momentum is P final minus P initial. So we can write it as MV minus MU. Okay, so this is equation for impulse. So we look at example exercise number one. Questions one. A 750 kg car has a speed of 10 meter per second. So what is the momentum? So momentum is equal to NV. You already learned during the secondary school. Okay, so you just substitute inside M is 750 and your velocity is 10. Okay, so you will get 7,500 kg meter per second okay question number two a skater of mass 80 kg initially at rest okay meaning that u equals to zero speed up to the final speed v equals to 10 along a straight line so find the momentum of the skater while at rest so because initial is at rest so it's equal to m u okay so at but because at rest, meaning that your momentum is equal to zero kilogram meter per second. Find the momentum of the skater while traveling to its final velocity. So our P final is equal to N V. Mass is at V final is 10, so you will get 800 kilogram meter per second. And Question number 2C is find the change in the momentum. Okay, change in the momentum actually is impulse, uh, change is of momentum. Okay, so we can write P final minus P initial or we can use NV minus MU. Okay, so our P final is 800, P initial is 0. So you will get answer 800 
kilometer kilogram meter per second so this is questions number two okay questions number three a system is made out of two objects okay here we have two objects moving along a straight line one object of mass 1.5 kg move to the right at a speed of 10 meter per second okay so one is moving to the right with 10 meter per second and another object mass is 2 kg move to the left with the speed of 12 meter per second okay so this is object 1 1.5 kg okay this is another object 2 kg determine the total momentum of the system so we want to find the total momentum of the system okay so p total because we have two objects so we have p1 plus p2 because we have two object where p1 equals to nv1 plus v p2 is nv2 okay so okay m1 this is m2 so m1 the first one is 1.5 and the velocity is 10 plus m2 is 2 kg and v2 is negative 12 okay why negative because it is a vector quantity momentum is a vector quantity so we need to consider the direction okay so negative because it is moving to the left okay so if you press calculator you will get negative 9 kilogram meter per second okay so meaning that after that both okay the impulse uh, sorry the momentum Okay, the momentum is equal to negative. Negative indicate that it, it moved to the left. Questions number four. A figure shows a two object A and B moving on the x y axis. Okay, so A is one point five kg, B is two kg. Find the resultant momentum. Okay, so uh, for questions number 3 just now, it only involves x component, meaning that it's only one dimension. But for questions number 4, it involves two dimensions, no? where A, we can resolve it into A, uh, x component, and also we can resolve it into A, y component. Okay, so momentum for x component, we have uh, PA for x component, and also PB for x component, where your PA x component is equals to is equals to nv yeah? p equals to nv p equals to nv so p a x component is equals to 1.5 uh, v we can resolve it into 3 cos 3 cos 30 and your pb is uh, 2 kg and uh, this one we don't need to resolve because it's only involved x component okay so you press calculator uh, you will get 13.9 kg meter per second so this is x component okay y component similar we can resolve it into pa for y component plus pb y component okay pa y component okay is actually this way yeah? so this is your py similar okay this one also a y Okay, so we can resolve it into 1.5 is the mass, 3 sine 30. Okay, however, for B, B we only have X component, we don't have Y component, so it's equal to 0. So if you press the calculator, you get 2.25 kg meter per second. Okay, so this is step 1, this is step 2. Okay, step 3 is you must find the magnitude by using theorem Pythagoras. Okay, by using P resultant equals to PX square plus PY square. Okay, so you substitute inside 13.9 square plus 2.25 square square root. Okay, so your, res your magnitude you will get 14. 0 0.08 unit is kg meter per second okay so step four 
Step 4 is you need to find the direction. Still remember we have 5 steps when you want to find the resultant. Okay, so direction is used tangent theta equals to y component over x component and we model it because we only want the basic angle. Okay, so theta equals to at tangent. Y component is uh, 2.25. X component is 13.9. Okay, so you model this. So therefore, the angle that you get is 9.19 degree. Okay, and remember, we still have step 5. So step 5, you must refer back to your x exit. Okay, the resultant x exit and also y exit. So your x exit you get positive, y exit also you get positive. So meaning that it is to the right and it is moving upward. Okay, so this is a resultant at quadrant, the first quadrant. Okay, question number five. Zero point two kg tennis ball straps the wall horizontally with the speed of one hundred, and is borne off with the speed of seventy in opposite direction. So if let's say your ball from left to right with the initial velocity 100 and it bounces off with V equals to 70. Okay, calculate the magnitude of the impulse delivered to the ball. So impulse is equal to FT and also is equal to NV minus MU. Okay, so because we have U and V, so we use this equation where your impulse equals to M 0 0.2. Okay, V we put negative because your V is to the left. Okay, it's to the left. Okay, minus 100. Okay, so this negative indicate that the direction is from to the left. Okay, so finally, you will get the answer is negative 34 Newton second. Okay, so this negative actually uh, means that the impulse delivered to the ball by the wall is negative, uh, is to the left. Okay, negative here shows is to the left. Okay, if the ball is in contact with the wall for 10 milliseconds, determine the magnitude of the average force exerted on the ball. Okay, on the ball. So our impulse is F dt. Okay, so your impulse is equal to 34 and the force is equal to, okay, force is the value that you want to find. T is equal to 10 milli. Milli is negative 3. Okay, so we need to find the force. Okay, we need to find the force. Okay, this one you must substitute negative. Eh? Okay, so you will get the answer is equal to negative. 3,400 Newton. Okay. Okay. If next say, some student may ask me, teacher, if let's say I assume that uh, my ball is from the right to the left and then I bounce off. Okay. So your U is equal to 100. Your V is equal to 70. Okay. So if you draw in this Diagram, so you will get 0 0.2 V is a uh, positive 70 minus negative 100. Okay, because if let's say you follow this diagram, it's to the left, so negative, negative later become positive. Eh? Okay, so your answer you will get positive 34 Newton second. Okay, so in this case, your force. F equals to FT. So your force, you will get positive 3,400 Newton. Okay, so actually it depends on uh, how you draw. Okay, depends on what is your diagram. Both also acceptable because the question system mentioned is from left or to the right. Okay, next one, a force of 500 Newton is applied to a 1,200 kg truck for uh, five seconds. So, what is the change in the velocity of the truck? Okay, so we have the force, we have m, so we want to find the change. Okay, so we can use impulse equals to ft 
also equals to NV minus MU. So since we have F, we have T, and we also have M, so we can find the change. Eh? We can find the change. F is 500. T, we substitute 5. M is 1,200. So we factorize out V minus U. Okay, meaning that the change of the velocity or equals to V minus U okay, is equal to 2,500 over 1,200. So you will get 2.08 meter per second. Okay. okay, next one is questions number 7. Okay, questions number 7 involve a X and also Y component. Okay, so... For this is uh, your u, we can resolve it into ux and also uy. This one also we can resolve it into vy and also vx. Okay, so similar, we want to find impulse, meaning that impulse we need to use mv minus mu change of the momentum. So first. We try to solve x component first. So everything we must take x component. So impulse for x component is equal to m 0.06. Okay, vx. Vx is this one. Eh? Vx is a uh, initial with the same speed. Okay, so this v is 28. 28, the angle here is 45. Of course, here also 45, eh? so no much different. So it's uh, for 28 cos 45. Because it is to the left, so we must put negative. Okay, minus u. u is to the right, so it's positive. So we write 28 cos 45 as well. Okay, so for x component, you will get negative 2.4 kg meter per second okay okay how about y component okay for y component your impulse for y component is mvy minus m u y component okay m is 0 0.06 we factorize out vy is adding upward so upward is 28 sine angle is 45 and then u y also acting upward so minus 28 sine 45 okay so 28 sine 45 minus 28 so meaning that for impulse for y exit is equal to 0 kilogram meter per second okay so as a resultant it will only we will only have uh, impulse acting on X component. Okay, and the negative here shows that the direction is to the left. Okay, so this is the answer. Thank you. See you on next video. Bye.